Hi and welcome Cancer, Rose Burnett here, Mind, Body, Soul Balance. This is your weekly tarot predictions for the 23rd through to the 30th of September. Yes, they are brand new and uh, they are a general reading, of course, so always trust your own intuition and guidance, what resonates with you, leave what does not. If you're brand new to my channel, big welcome, awesome to have you here. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, you'll get more great content from me. If you want a personal reading, there is a coupon code going to pop up over here in a second. Uh, you can get $10 off my 45-minute extended personal reading. All you need to do is take that coupon code across the booking form, enter it when prompt to get your $10 off. That's valid to the end of September, that one. Yes, you only get about a week to use it. Uh, the link's going to pop up here and in the description box below. All right, let's get started. So in terms of the weekly predictions, we're going to mostly be having a look at not only predictions, but also your energy for the week. So always watch it in conjunction with either the monthly or the mid-monthly, which are going to be a bit more extended for your star sign. So first up, let's have a look at your energy with the Precious Gems Oracle. Now let's do what you need to know, Cancer. Hmm. You've got Atlantisite, which is all about emotional purity. Number six, by the way, which is also about abundance and love, drawing that to you. Let's pull you up the guidance. Beautiful lime greens in this. I'll show it to you one more time. Yeah, I'll bring it up close. Have a look at that. It's gorgeous. Some mauves and lime greens. It says Cancer. Hold me in your hand and be cradled in the arms of Mother Nature, gently rocked by the earth, soothed by the ocean, nurtured by the spirits in the woods. Feel the compassionate embrace of the spiritual world as it takes you into your heart and whispers, you are home. Relax into love, oh how sweet it can be. A land site is associated with the elements of earth and wind and uh, the heart chakra and uh, all about the energies of the heart chakra it helps you clear any blocked energy and to move forward yeah um, also helps encourage you to move away from emotions like fear or jealousy mm -hmm. and helps you release and heal from any past judgments it asks you to reacquaint yourself with love and the beauty of nature how beautiful yeah um and just say to spend some time in nature or near the sea Mm -hmm. and think about those things that you love in your life and bask in this soothing warm and welcoming energy all about compassion and love and uh, all about self-love there's an affirmation here that says i understand what pure love is i am in tune with love i recognize love all around me i radiate love as a blessing to others wow so overarchingly all about spending some time on self-love as well as being very kind and compassionate towards others all right let's do your predictions past present and future with the angel oracle let's do what you need to know cancer so first up we're going to have a look at the situation mm. you've got the two of air if you have a look these two horses are locking horns so it's kind of representative of the old unicorn yeah it's pretending that there's uh, not a problem or a stalemate around an issue, whether it's with, I mean, it kind of pretends with others, but it could also just be with self, yeah, in terms of a stalemate in a situation. Um, yeah, being unwilling to make a decision, that's holding yourself stuck. Or you might not be ready. Might need to just take some more time to think and contemplate about things. Okay, that one flew out. This is the challenge. <laughs> Mm. so you've got the king of air and it's about speaking your mind with confidence so it's a time to speak up cancer there's something going on that you're not comfortable with happening in your life whether it's to do with work whether it's to do with relationships it's a time for you to speak up with confidence you express yourself um it also pretends to be taking on more of a leadership role not only in your own life but also um in any situations around you no matter how challenging they are uh, it's also a call to balance again your emotions and the things that you're saying to yourself yeah in terms of your mindset all right let's have a look at the um basis of the situation i just say your cards are flying out so there might be a need to ground your energies yeah balance and ground your energies oh this is beautiful 
You've got the Ace of Water, falling in love or resurgence of love in your current relationship, um, enhanced spiritual and um, spirituality and intuition, possibly a new home on the cards. Mm -hmm. Whether that's buying, selling, relocating. Um, wow, this is in the recent past. Uh, the Ace of Earth, the inflow of abundance, promising new business contracts, job offers. Yeah, that's in the recent past. Kind of pretends to your, um, I mean, contracts can also relate to the sale of a home, but it certainly pretends to your finances improving in the recent past. All right, this is the present. Wow. This message has been coming through to you for a while. Still coming through. Ace of Fire, an exciting new opportunity coming your way. Time to change your life now. It very much speaks to your career. Mm -hmm. um, all right, let's have a look at the near future. Mm, wow, this goes hand in hand with the first card you pulled. Complex decision to make. Time to stop procrastinating. Do some research around it, but um, yeah, it's time to make a decision. Seven of water. All right, let's have a look at your energy in the situation. Mm, this is beautiful. You got the queen of fire. It's time for you to stretch your wings and fly. Go after those opportunities and don't hold yourself back. Um, mm -hmm. Also, it's about having that faith, that confidence in yourself and your talents. All right, let's have a look at the uh, energy of those around you. So he wants to fly out. Mm, this is great. The Ten of Air, the end of a difficult situation. Expect things to get better from now on. Mm -hmm. Things moving forward for you. All right. It also pretends to a return to good health if you've been in poor health. Let's have a look at uh, hopes and fears. Mm. You've got a new person's entering your life, which could speak to the falling in love. Yes, somebody new coming into your life in that regard. Again, enhanced intuition, psychic abilities. Um. It also, you know, you've got two messages here. It also says you relate current. If you're in a current relationship, it's about going up, you know, more, um, dare I say, expansion, deepening of commitment. And, um, yeah, two messages exactly the same, pretty much. Let's have a look at uh, the outcome. Mm, yeah, there's definitely, there's, this is your third message about making a decision. A of air, illusion of being trapped. Yeah, afraid to take action. Everything's saying to you that there's opportunities here for you. You've got to go for them. Um, it speaks to a lack of a lack of confidence in self, or just some doubt, or you're not quite sure, confused. Yeah. Everything's saying that there's so much there for you. All right, let's pull you some guidance with Goddess Guidance deck. What is it? Cancer needs to know. Wow. First card out. Mother Mary, expect a miracle. Your prayers have been heard. They are being answered. So you've been asking for a new job opportunity, a new business venture, a new home. The universe has heard you. Yeah. Your love relationships to grow closer or a new, new person to enter your life. The universe has heard you. Mm -hmm. Got to match your vibration to it and be open to that energy. You've also got ISIS, past life memories are surfacing for you, which is obviously related to whatever's holding you back in terms of fear and doubt. Whatever's holding you back from making a decision, you can be recycling through old stuff from the past that's impacting the present. And uh, you've also got Green Tara, start delegating, start asking others to help. Um, whether that's it kind of speaks to um, if you're in a family situation, it's about asking those people that are in your home to support you, to do more around the house. Um, even at work, it's about asking for help if you need it. All right, let's put you some guidance with the crystal reading deck. In terms, this is all really around your energy. Mm. Underneath the Mother Mary Expect a Miracle. Or a sounding message that success is coming your way. Mm -hmm. Obviously got to co-create that. Move forward. Move forward, Cancer. Mm. Yeah, there's definitely a mess. 
Definitely a message to ground and balance your energy hematite. What are ways in which you can do that? The fastest way is getting your feet on Mother Earth, out in nature, near water or just beautiful place in nature. Um, you know, coming back into the body. So doing things like getting out of your mind and into your body, out of your mind and your emotions and into your body. Um, things like Zen yoga, yin yoga, um, any type of physical exercise will bring you more into your body. Uh, obviously guided meditations, which you hear me speak about quite a lot will help as well. All right, see what else you need to know, Cancer. Mm. You've got communication, Aquamarine. This is your second message about speaking your mind with confidence, yeah. Uh, it, it can pertain to you expressing yourself, asking for what you need, standing up for yourself. Um, it can also mean you've got a communication coming in about an opportunity coming your way. Um, it's also in any negotiation or conflict or challenges with others. It's about listening to both sides of the story as well as communicating your side as well. Let's pull your crowning energy from the Kunyan Oracle. Oh, okay. The cards are flying out, flying out. You've got the threshold, which is so gorgeous. It's a perfect message. It's about pushing through the barriers that you've got around yourself right now. You're going up to the next level mm -hmm. in your life. Always a conscious choice. Let's pull you up the guidance. Basically about moving through fear. Mm -hmm. It says Cancer. At the threshold you stand, before you lies a way of being that is beyond fear. It is a sacred passing through a karmic veil into a new life of empowerment, peace, spiritual service to humanity and joy in your own soul. Congratulations. You're embarking on a phase of the deepest soul liberation into the freedom of love that triumphs over fear. And it's been quite a journey. Many, many lifetimes and much inner work's been required for you to be able to perceive the light of this divine, even under this density of fear you are fast approaching the karmic threshold where you can shift from fear-based to love-based embodiment this is a sacred and important time where it's wise to surround yourself with those able to support you in a love-based reality in the near future you'll be able to sustain your own vibration even amongst beings based in fear and you will be of even greater service to life to love and the divine power on this planet. For now, allow beloved Kun Yin to help you connect to the beauty and potency, the love and fearlessness and endless joy of your own higher self. Do not be disheartened by any old fears that are surfacing. You do not need to create a story out of them. You just need to observe them with love and allow them to pass. It is just your inner self releasing any vibration which is not aligned with unconditional love. Sometimes there can be deep testing on the threshold. It's not an exam to be afraid of, but there is an opportunity to realize your development and to be really secure on a firm inner spiritual foundation before moving forward in your soul service to others through how you live and be on this planet. And it's no use preparing to assist others on a higher scale and moving from fear to love if you're still making that transition yourself. Let yourself stabilize in this new vibration and then your ability to help others will increase naturally with much grace, assistance and effortlessness. And well done, beloved. There is much love and celebration in the spiritual world it's about the shift for you. And remember that the only defense ever needed, no matter what the apparent fear or threat, is unconditional love in the heart, which allows for compassion and detachment. You are safe, you are quickening in your readiness to pass the threshold. Your journey is truly blessed. Wow. And there's a healing ritual here, which says, sit quietly and focus on your breath and in your heart, say the following, just listen here. I call on my higher spiritual guides that love me unconditionally. I call upon Kun Yin who loves me unconditionally. Be with me now, beloved. I thank you now for your protection, your love, your peace and fun. Namaste. 
Focus on the light growing in your heart. Allow it to form a brilliant star of light. Focus on the light dropping down into your navel and forming a brilliant star of light there. Then focus on the light rising above your head and forming a brilliant star of light there. And say, I call upon the divine grace and divine love and divine power and divine wisdom that I am. I call upon my own mastery. I call upon the unconditionally loving guidance that supports me in crossing the karmic threshold from fear to love. I am open to your help in making this spiritual transition according to the perfection of divine timing, beloved, and I gratefully receive your help. Focus on the three stars of light growing within your being, and when you're ready, say, I am love, I am light, I am power, divine, so be it. Return to your breath, and when you're ready, open your eyes. You may like to complete this practice with the affirmation below, and it says, May I be blessed with the compassionate love and protection of Kun Yin as my soul prepares to cross the threshold from fear to love in all dimensions of my being. Omani Padme Hum. Omani Padme Hum. Omani Padme Hum. Oh, perfect guidance. Perfect. All right, if you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget, grab your coupon code if you want to get a personal reading with me and get that $10 off the discount. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste.